Yo guys, Bushoknitz here, and uh, today's video is going to be of the sorts of a tutorial video, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to allocate more RAM into your Minecraft game. So, basically, whenever you start up a new Minecraft, like for the first time, you're always going to get about allocated 2 gigabytes of RAM. No matter how much, how many, how much RAM you actually have in your computer, by default, vanilla Minecraft always sets itself to 2 gigabytes of RAM. In some cases, that could be enough, but in other cases, like if you're a record, like you're a YouTuber, you record, you obviously need more RAM because when you record, your frames drop. Or if you're running a shaders pack or a mod, a modded pack, or just in bit or like basic mods in your game. So you're gonna want to add more RAM. Uh, nevertheless, so let's get straight into this. Alright guys, so uh, when you're on the Windows desktop, you're gonna wanna go to the, scroll down to the Windows search bar, and you're gonna wanna type in system information. You're gonna search, click enter on that, and you're gonna scroll all the way down and look for available physical memory. So for me, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM in my system, as you guys can see right here. But my available physical memory that I can use is 11 gigs because the others are reserved by other applications that are running in the background right now. Nevertheless, whatever this number may say. So for example, on most cases, you guys are probably going to have 8 gigs. So if it's 8 gigs, you're probably going to have available physical memory is 6 gigabytes. So what you're going to want to use in your Minecraft is probably 4 gigabytes. You do not want to use all of your available physical memory because that could lead to your system not having any more additional memory to run and that could lead in a disaster for your computer. That could just generally just crush your computer when it needs more RAM to run and there's no. Nevertheless, you're going to want to keep a save of this number. So for me, it's 11.3 gigabytes. So close that. And then you're going to want to go down to your Minecraft launcher. All right. And launch that. So once you've launched that, you're going to go to installations here. And uh, for most of you guys, you're going to probably have latest release 1.15.2. And you're going to click here on the three dots in the, on three dots in the far corner. But for me, since I'm running a shaders pack, I'm going to be using Optifine version 1.15.2. And you can just actually just click on it or use the three dots in the far corner and click on edit. So once you're here, just scroll down and click on more options. By default, Minecraft sets the RAM to two gigabytes as you guys saw earlier in this video, but we're gonna be switching that up. So since I have 11 gigs of RAM as physical memory, I'm gonna set in eight gigabytes of RAM. Now guys, this is overkill. You do not wanna set eight gigabytes. The only reason I'm doing this is because one, I record videos, so that takes up a little bit more RAM. And second of all, is because I'm running a shaders pack, so yeah. 8 gigabytes could work for most of you if you guys are running like say an FTB mod pack then you're gonna want to put in 8 gigs nevertheless whatever your physical memory is you're gonna want to you want to put in like 60% of it so if it's just, you guys have available physical memory 6 gigabytes you're gonna want to put in 4 here nevertheless for me it's 11 so I'm gonna be putting in 8 gigabytes so my system doesn't crash and I, ha I keep a little bit of RAM in reserve nevertheless once you're done click save and play your Minecraft launch as you guys can see at the top far the memory is going to show that where it says 22% or 23%, it shows that it's using actually 8 gigabytes and allocated is half of that because it does actually, Minecraft actually does keep 2 gigabytes as a reserve. Nevertheless, guys, don't worry about that, but you should see a huge improvement on the FPS side of things because you've allocated more RAM into your Minecraft. And that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more tutorials like this, please do leave it in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.